Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video I'm going to give some answers to the questions What or who makes crop circles? And are crop circles real? The question, are crop circles real, makes as much sense as saying, are UFOs real? Both phenomena exist, so yes of course they are real in that sense, but what the questioner is really asking is whether or not there is any non-human intelligence behind the phenomena, or can they all be dismissed as hoaxes and misidentification of natural or man-made phenomena. Crop circles, or more accurately crop formations, have been the subject of interest, research and ridicule since the 1970s. During the 1970s and 1980s some amazing formations appeared, mostly in Wessex, and it was these genuine formations that led to most of the research that laid the foundations for others to build upon. However, the subject was treated with the usual scepticism and scoffing by the media, and when it was found that it was possible to create similar formations by hand, the hoaxers and later the artists went to work. This gave the media what they wanted, an explanation that would justify their scorn and ridicule, thus deflating any theories put forward by the crop circle researchers, who were gathering plenty of evidence that proved something very strange was indeed going on. There have been many genuine crop circles and formations that have been thoroughly investigated by researchers like Freddie Silver, Colin Andrews, Pat Delgado, Terence Meaden and others. These researchers have proved using a variety of techniques including soil samples, electromagnetic and other readings, the condition of the crops stalks etc, that it would be impossible for these to be created by people in the dead of night using strings, planks, torches etc. Remember this was the 1970s and 1980s. There were no drones for aerial views, nor mobile phones to coordinate events by supposed hoaxes. These genuine formations were also the subject of a lot of interest by persons unknown flying black helicopters over them. These aircraft appeared over the formations and were sometimes flown in an intimidating manner toward anyone approaching the area, seemingly to deter anyone curious enough to visit the site. It has been said that the formations attracted interest from all kinds of people, including the UK's secret services, other government agencies and the royal family. If, as many believe, the genuine formations are evidence of a non-human intelligence, then of course it would initiate a huge amount of concern among those who govern the country. One book I particularly recommend for insights into crop circles is Freddie Silver's Secrets in the Fields, The Science and Mysticism of Crop Circles, which you can get on Kindle on Amazon. I also strongly recommend you visit and explore his website invisibletemple.com and check out the page entitled Healing, in which he explains the meaning and purpose of crop circle designs and how they can be used. There have also been designs made by hoaxers like the Westbury Boys in Wiltshire, and Doug and Dave, who used to meet at the Percy Hobbs pub outside Winchester. When challenged by a TV crew to recreate a design on camera, Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley could only produce a very crude formation. There have also been formations created by human artists inspired by intuition, meditations and muses. These artists may take delight in the reactions of those who see them, but the irony is that they themselves may be merely the conduit for the formation's actual designers. For more on this subject I highly recommend Colin Andrews' book On the Edge of Reality, Hidden Technology, Powers of the Mind, Quantum Physics, Paranormal Phenomena, Orbs, UFOs, Harmonic Transmissions and Crop Circles. The idea that this phenomenon can be dismissed because some of the formations were hoaxes designed to fool a few gullible people is not only scientifically wrong, 
but also an insult to those who have spent years doing meticulous, dedicated, and often unpaid research, while having to put up with the skepticism of most of the public and the scorn of the media. I will leave you with this quote from Colin Andrews. Crop circle research was hijacked for profit by a small group in the early 1990s. There is no need to invent a mystery when I've seen since the 80s that a tremendous interactive process is at work and now admitted by the people who make circles. Colin Andrews on Circle Makers TV, June the 15th, 2011. By the way, if you go to the webpage from which I've taken that quote, you'll see one of my videos at the top of the page. The address is colinandrews.net forward slash crop underscore circle underscore research dot html. The video at the top of the page is called The Wessex Triangle, Winchester's UFOs and Crop Circles in the 1970s. I've also touched on this subject in another video called UFOs and Crop Circles Are Calls to Consciousness, which you'll find at the end of this one and on my channel page. So in conclusion then, there were and there remain three explanations for crop circles and formations. 1. Some form of non-human consciousness. 2. Human hoaxers hoping to create some mischief. 3. Human artists acting on impulse and intuition as if interacting consciously or subconsciously with the non-human consciousness. Thanks for watching. I hope this has sparked your interest and perhaps answered a few questions. Please give this video a like and share it with others who are interested in these subjects. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified about more videos like this.